So... Right guys, I'm gonna be playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on the Steam Deck today. I'm not using the laptop. As I said, I was getting rid of the laptop and uh, one of my Steam Decks. Um, because I, I felt like the laptop itself wasn't good for um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So, I've sold that. That's gone now. Uh, all I'm left with now is my Steam Deck. I also got rid of the other Steam Deck. I had a second member. I used to have a Steam Deck behind the, the, the one in the white case. So, I sold that. I got rid of it. Well, because I want a laptop, you know. I need, I need a gaming laptop. I want a proper gaming laptop, not these... I am thinking about getting the RT, the RTX 4060, which has got 8 gigs of um, of uh, VRAM. And at least that one would, would have been better. Right. I don't know why this is so... I don't know if it's the light. Okay, so if, if the light is not pointing directly at the Steam Deck, I'm trying to create some light, like a light source. Uh, but I think this is a bit too direct and it's causing issues. So I'll try and put it uh, behind... Uh, so basically, I want to play uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on the Steam Deck. I don't know, man. It's, it looks like it's blurring, right? Like this. Okay, I'm going to bring the light back. I'm trying to put light because, but I think it's too much light. Uh, let me turn off the other light. I've got another light in the background, but that one's not so much of an issue. It's not as bad as this one. I don't know if it's is that too, you know I can't tell because obviously I'm not holding I'm not holding my Steam Deck in my hands. Let me push my Steam Deck backwards a bit. This just might make it better. I think it's better now because I I can actually see it's clearer. Right, so I'm gonna be playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare directly on the Steam Deck today, not on the laptop because I like I said I sold the laptop. Laptop's gone. Um, it, it just wasn't pulling its weight, you know, the RTX uh, 3060 to me, uh, I thought was going to be good. Unfortunately, it wasn't as good as I thought. But I mean, it's back in the day, maybe it was a good laptop. But um, just another problem with the laptop is it didn't have, it doesn't support USB 4 or Thunderbolt, you know. So I was like, why am I keeping this laptop? It's not going to do anything. Right. So this is AMD power control panel. Um, going to overclock the Steam Deck to 35 watts. This is what I use. I've got another one in here. You see it says profile updated 35 watts power control panel panel uh, dot e e x e or e x e shortcut. So it's called AMD power control panel. Right. I've got another one, like I said, but I don't want to mess with that one because it will cause conflict with this one. I'm just moving it to my other screen. I've got another monitor. Right. So. The configuration I'm using today is DualShock. I'm not going to be using Xbox. So mind you, I've not played this on the Steam Deck as yet. I was just playing this on my laptop. So I actually want to do a test. I just want to see if this is going to work on Steam Deck. I have played um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on the Steam Deck. So obviously having played um, Modern Warfare 2 on this uh, and it worked really well. So I, I don't see a problem. So, the, the whole issue here is um, the RTX 3060, I felt like it was, I just felt like it was weak. The, the 6 gig of RAM, it can't play Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 3 properly. That's the truth. It, it couldn't play the game properly. I just thought, what's the point in keeping this uh, laptop if I can't do anything? Right, I just want to go into Steam real quick and free up some memory. I, I mean, it's, it's not bad. My Steam Deck's got 101 gigabyte from um, 953 gigabyte. The SSD, a uh, micro SD, uh, micro SD card has got 256 gig. Uh, it's got 39.39 .39 gigabytes. I got Star Wars, Plants vs Zombies, but obviously I'm gonna remove that. Valve Experts, Tribes of Midgard. I think that's a demo. I'm not sure if that's like a. A game that I'm actually uh, that I bought, Waves of Death, War Gun. Some of these I actually bought, so I don't want to get rid of everything, you know. But anyway, let me move this one. I'm just moving it to my other screen because I can't see the bottom. I can't see everything, you know. 
it's not showing me all the games properly all right so so um i'm taking off i'm gonna keep star wars battlefront 2 i'm taking off uh plants versus zombies uh garden warfare 2 G deluxe edition it looks like i might have bought this but i don't know uh vault experts this one i don't know if i want to remove it i want to keep it because it's hard to put keep putting back on waves of death is just a demo uh and then war gun shooting game online i'm gonna keep that uh bro force and smoke and sacrifice i did buy that so i'm just trying to create space on my micro sd card right so the only games i got left is star wars battlefront 2 veld experts war gun and um what's this one shooting games online smoke and sacrifice and uh bro force i'll show you guys um so i've got 117.2 gigabyte free of 256 gig i know it says uh, 236 but it's 256 gigabyte for the micro sd card now i'm going to go back to my terabyte which is the main drive like i said i have to pull this out because if i use it on the steam deck screen it's not showing the full picture of how many games i got call of duty that's uh modern warfare 3 i'm not taking that off overwatch 2 i'll keep that I'm just looking for games I, I know, you know, games I know I'm, ne I'm never going to play. This MUA, uh, Cursed, I'm not going to play Cursed anytime soon. I mean, I like the game, but I don't really play that much. War Rumbles, uh, Firelight 84, I'll keep Firelight 84, Japanese Drift Master Demo, Zero Cleaners, I'm probably going to take that off uh star switch dead zone i'm gonna remove that i think that's a demo subnautica i'm kind of 50 50 with this one but you know like i said i want to create space and i only want to play games that i know i'm going to actually play uh red out um enhanced edition uh pubg uh project hardline war robots battle bit remastered oxygen not included i'm going to take that off for the time being like zero cleaner zero cleaner Ravenfield, I'm going to keep that. Common Master, I'm going to keep that one. Terrera, I'm going to remove that. I mean, I bought the game, but I, I don't think I want to play it. The Expander Bros, I want to keep that because it's part of Pro Force. Uh, Dinogen Online. Mega City Police, whatever. I think that's a demo. I'm going to remove that. The Formula Racing thing, I'm going to remove that. Insurgency Sand Sandstorm, I'm going to keep that. War Robots Frontiers, keep it. Uh, Driver Booster. For Steam, I bought that. I got, well, I paid for the Pro version. And DSX, I'm keeping those. Right, so I'm just removing the, the things or the games I know I'll never play. I mean, it makes sense. If What's the point of keeping all that stuff if I'm, not, I'm never going to actually use it? Right, the main reason why you guys can't see anything is because I'm using my other monitor. If I put it on this monitor, it's too small, you know? You can't see everything that I'm trying to take off. Right, so Overwatch 2, Tom Clancy, Rainbow Six Siege, Star Wars Battlefront, like I said about Battlefront 1 and 2, Tom Clancy, Rainbow Siege, uh, Call of Duty, Overwatch uh, 2, Counter-Strike 2, Watch Dogs 2, uh, Midnight Ghost Hunt, Hired Ops, I think I've heard that's a good game, Shadow Gambit, uh, The Cursed Crew demo, Touchlight Infinite, uh, Firelight 84, Japanese Drift Master, right, I'll shrink this down. And I'll bring it back to the Steam Deck screen. And I freed up, uh, it's saying 179.9 gigabyte free of 953.1. But that's a terabyte. Right, so you can see all the games that I, I, I kept. I keep these guy, games because I feel like I'll play them one day, you know. Right, let me go to File Explorer. I want to see what I've got left. I feel kind of sad that I had to sell the laptop, but... You know the thing is i'll tell you guys something i wasn't using it the like using it properly the, the way i i thought i was going to be using it. when i bought the laptop i bought it because i i thought i was going to use it you know like to play hardcore games and i wasn't i wasn't actually using it the way i thought i was supposed to use it so i got tired of that and i thought no man you know i am not using this the way it's supposed to be used anyway I sold my Steam Deck, the, the, the one on Linux, the one I told you guys that doesn't work properly, it's gone. And I sold it real cheap, $150, that's gone. I sold uh, my laptop for $300, that's gone. 
I mean, I don't have to tell you guys how much I sold it for, but I made $450. Uh, I've already got $700. So now I've got $1,100 and uh, $40, uh, $40. So $1,140 is what I've got now. So I have the slight advantage that I can. I can actually buy... I can actually buy... Um, I, I hope... I'll be able to buy the um, a better laptop. So I found I found a laptop MSI GE67 HX Raider. What's this? It says a dry your driver your GPU driver version uh, does not meet the recommended for running Call of Duty. To ensure uh, the best performance and functionality, go to manufacturer's website to download and install the latest driver. I don't get this. The driver. I have the latest driver. I'm pretty sure I've got the latest driver. Okay, so <laughs> I, I really don't get this thing. AMD drivers. How how am I supposed to install the latest driver? It's it's not gonna give me the latest driver, is it? Wait, let's see. It says Windows 10 11 drivers detect uh Linux drivers, graphics drivers. Um download Windows drivers, okay. But this this is not a um, a win Intel thingy, um, and and you okay it's got AMD software adrenaline whatever whatever, right? So let's see what happens here. It's minimal uh, setup, but I do have I do have AMD on this, right? So I'm gonna install this driver. This is directly from the website. This is not from Steam, because I've got I I did I did get the one from Steam. And I've got the AMD driver thingy. I don't know if this is going to work. It's saying it wants me to update the drivers. Right, it says, oops, something went wrong. Obviously, it's not going to update it. It can't, nothing's going to happen. Because look, if I show you guys, if I click here, it should have the display thingies. Wait, it's not showing up here. Let's see. There you go. AMD. I've got it. So I don't understand why it's saying I need the latest driver. Overlays. What's overlays? Settings. I have I have the the current one. Let's see if I got the settings. Uh, four gigs of VRAM. Uh, blah 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 blah. It's all here. So I I don't understand what it means that I I don't have um, the correct drivers. Anyway, let let's see if it's gonna work this time. So how are people? Okay, how are people playing this? Because I've seen people playing this game on the uh, on the Steam decks. Ah, oh, come on, man. Okay, I'm just click on ignore. All right, so I didn't realize you can just click ignore. So if it's if it's disturbing you, just click ignore, and then you just move past that. And um, so, like I said, I want to buy a laptop. Wait, why is this not using the? Ah, uh, man. Okay, I don't have a lap. I don't have. I don't have a keyboard. I cannot. I don't, I don't understand this. Okay, wait. I need to close the browser down. Close this. Close. What's wrong with this thing? Right. So. Okay, I have to wait for the game to start. I don't know why it's using the speakers. Okay, it's using AMD drivers. No. I'm going to use Echo Dot. Now connected to GeoTrans. Right, let's see. So, why isn't it working? So, it's ready. So, connect to the thing. What's wrong with this thing, man? What's it using? Alright, I'm going to disable this one. That's disabled. Ah, there you go. It's it's gone. It's gone to my speakers. It's it was using these ones. So let's see how good. Let's see how good it is on Steam Deck. Anyway, like I said, I got rid of my laptop. I was tired, man. I was extremely tired.
Oh yeah, there, there is another person who was trying to sell me his says update requires restart. Right, there's another person who's selling me his uh it's got an uh three XS. I don't know where the what's that name? Let me go into my notes. I have to go in my Samsung. I need to look at the notes because it's in notes. Where's the notes? Notes. There we go. I have the name of the laptop. Right. The laptop is called a, it's a scan, but it's, the name is uh, 3XS Vengeance GL380. Right. So with this laptop, it actually has, it's got, um, it's got an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 gaming laptop with Intel Core i7-11800. Wait, what's? What kind of I want to wonder I'm wondering about this. No, give me a keyboard. So I7 uh 1180 there what's that? Is that H? Uh Intel. All right, sis, thank you for playing the game. Nice one. Activate cookies. All right, that's nice. Right, it says it's got eight cores, uh, sixteen threads, base um, or turbo boost is four, four dot six uh, gigahertz, thirty five watts. Uh, blah blah blah. It's uh, Intel UHD graphics for eleven eleventh gen something something something. Okay, so this is sixteen, sixteen threads, eight cores. The one that I'm trying to buy. The one that I'm trying to buy is got um, it's got 24 um, well it's got I think it's got 16 threads and 24 cores so it's it's really good and it's got the um, uh, Nvidia RTX 3080 Ti so that's the one I'm trying to get. Right, so it's a 3XS Vengeance GL380 FHD 144Hz 8 gig. Okay, this one's saying 8 gig. The one, the guy, the one that the person selling me to, um, the I mean the laptop he's selling me, it's got 16 gigs uh, of VRAM, but it is RTX 3080. So I know they come in uh, two different variations. But I'm trying to get this one. This guy doesn't want to sell it to me, you know. This laptop of his he, he keeps telling me like he wants a certain amount of money and i keep trying to tell him that i've only got a certain amount so hello i'm at work and just seeing your messages i'll send it off of one you can accept it uh if you still want it he's finally agreed i uh yes so i said do it now please Okay, he's saying he's at work, basically. He's saying, hello, I'm at work and just seen your messages. I'll send uh, an offer of 1,100. You can accept it um, if, if you still want it. I've just, I've sent him another message, yes. Hi, yes, uh, do it now, please. Right, so let's see. I can't see where the message is, so where's the message? So how will I get the message then? How do you get messages on um, on this uh, thing? I mean, how do you get messages on on uh, eBay? Says I'm at work. Just send a message. I'll send an offer of one thousand one hundred. You can accept it. Just gonna say hi. Yes. Uh, please send your offer. uh you, what the hell why can't i write with this thing send an offer of um like the the reason why i wanted his laptop is because his is uh better hi uh, yes uh please send your offer of 1100 uh let's see 
I um, can pay you. Can pay you. What's wrong with this? I hate this auto correction thing. I can pay you tomorrow. Wow. It doesn't even put a gap. Nothing. Okay. I can pay you tomorrow. I can pay tomorrow. Yeah. Right. So I don't know how, how people send all cookies. Right. So the laptop this guy, this dude has, his laptop has an Intel i5, i7, sorry, i7, um, 12. Let me write it down. He's got an i7, 1280, no, uh, 12800 HX. That's what this dude's uh, laptop has. So I'm just going into Intel. And uh, on Intel, it says um, it does up to 4.8 gigahertz. That's Turbo Boost. This laptop has 16 threads. Yes. 16 threads no no sorry wait wait i'm getting confused it's got 16 cores the laptop has 16 cores and uh, 24 threads this thing is like a beast and it's got the um, nvidia rtx 3080 ti with 16 gigs of vram laptop gpu so and um i mean like i've been he says it's a work so uh, let me just do this one, guys. I'm use, I'm playing this with the DualSense controller. Why is this not working? Oh, my God. All right, I just have to use the my thing. Okay, let me jump into graphics. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? This is going to be so sad because this is all going to be low graphics now. I can't do what I was doing yesterday. All right, you see, custom AMD custom GPU 0405. You see, so everything is gonna be on low. Let me put this to minimum. Yeah, it's gonna be on minimum. You you can't put this to. It says b reset to. No, I'm gonna put this to minimum. Uh, dynamic resolution. I don't know what dynamic resolution is. Upscaling, sharpening. I'm going to use AMD FSR 2.1. And in here, I'm going to use quality. I'm just going to go to all the others. Look at this. Very low, low, off, low. Very low, off, off. Low, all, on. <laughs> on, on demand takes a filtering. You, you need that on. Uh, everything else is low, very low, off, 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 low. Uh, off, low, off, low off low off <laughs> very different from yesterday yeah but it is what it is so i'm using minimum minimum um and then um di uh, dynamic resolution target or upscaling sorry upscaling sharpening i'm using amd fsr 2.1 so that's what i'm using right i'm um, not gonna go into all this other stuff so minimum upscaling is amd fsr 2.1 uh on display i'm using full screen borderless wait what's this saying you know this is weird it's saying estimated vram usage modern warfare 3 it's saying Check this out. This is this is very strange. Look at this. On the Steam Deck, it says 2.05, but it does say 9.9 .9 gigabytes. So this is strange. Doesn't the Steam Deck just have 4 gigs of VRAM? Because this is saying 9 gigabyte. That's almost like 10 gigabytes of VRAM. No, I'm, I'm just saying it's it looks weird because I can see this. It's only that I can't zoom in to show you guys properly like what i'm seeing but that's what this is what the steam deck is saying right there you see that gap there that's a estimated vram usage there's a huge gap here but look where the target is and look right there it says 2.05 uh, gigabyte vram so mine is set to 4 gigabyte vram that's what i've got uh this one is saying 9.9 .9 gigabyte you, you understand what i mean 
So I'm just wondering, like, is that where does that come from? Because I know for certain Steam Deck does not have the anything above. Right, I'm gonna turn that off. I don't hear people screaming. Right, so I've done everything. It's all set. I'm gonna play Ground War. You know what I'm wondering? I'm using DualShock. Should I use Xbox? Right, I've changed everything to Xbox. Oh my God, why? What happened? I just went and changed the the Jules Shock thingy to <laughs> the DS for Windows to Xbox configuration, and it crashed. <laughs> That's all I did. I didn't do anything else. It's cool. It it, it does this sometimes. So let's hope. Let's mm -hmm. hope that this is. Right. So let's let's just hope that this this is. Now connected to GeoTrans. Okay. Okay. It's restarted. That's very strange that it just blue screened on me. But that's why I said that i i didn't i i i'm just wondering where the nine uh dot nine whatever gigabyte stuff came from right so let me just check this guy uh, i don't know how, how do you get offers is this guy not supposed to change his um and I, I oh my god let me just sign into this it's not gonna take long guys it happens i think it just crashed for some weird reason i don't know what happened because it just blue screened on me right so i'm i'm just signing in uh i just need to restart everything that i was doing that would take a few seconds to do it's it's not gonna take long. Just got uh just got to Windows Mobility Center and then I need to tap on the speaker that will appear here. Of course I'm using echo dot at the bottom and then I'm gonna set this to the other screen. I've got something for resolution in here. Where's that there? I need to just set that to minimum. It's it's not FSR two point you know, FSR, but it's it says what? Consider changing your RK, whatever right then that happens let's see no i'm just wondering why it crashed why why would it crash because that's that's the one thing that i really don't understand right so this one i'm sorry if the screen's too bright but that's also for i use that for overclocking right so this one i'm gonna set 35 watts it's too down there let me change this 35 watts change uh, I don't know what this is. Backup. What's the backup for? Uh, and then, last but not least, I just need to open up um, what you call this DS4 Windows. Because that's why I use. That's all set. It's also set to DualShock. And come back in here. Click on Maximum. So it's recognizing that the profile has changed to 35 watts. And then just restart up Steam. And once Steam starts up, then I can just easily... Then I can just easily do this thing. Right, so at the moment, what I'm trying to find out is this guy said he sent me an offer. Uh, so of the, the for his laptop. And I, d I don't think he wants to change his, uh, he doesn't want to change his, um, he doesn't want to change what he was doing. Right, so I'm just going to, What's going on here? I'm gonna jump into Call of Duty again. Let's see, it's gonna show, tell me that my drivers are out of date. Then I'm just gonna click ignore and go, go straight back into the game. I don't know what's up with this thing, man. It just crashes. You see, this is why I was saying it's better to buy a gaming laptop. There you go. It's, it says it didn't set up properly. Do you understand? Yeah, that's cool. I don't know, it's weird. Even even the, the DualShock thing wasn't working properly. Right, it says update you. I can't update it. I don't know why he keeps telling me this stuff. Right, so he's saying that he's sent it to my email address. Let me find my email. Let's see. Is that how it works? Because I'm sure on eBay, the guy was supposed to change his advert. He's supposed to change it, right? He's supposed to ch stop the, the, the sale 
or whatever and then change it. He said he sent it to my email. It's just sounding weird. I hope this time it doesn't crash on me. It's you know you know what I think? I think this guy might not Okay, it says blah 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 safe choices. Right, so how do I go and see where this guy sent me the offer? I'm looking on my email. Now I'm just looking, I'm just like wondering like how does this work? It's saying there's there's nothing being seen here. Yeah, because I'm I'm in my I'm in my email right now. I'm in my email, but I can't see any message that he may have sent. Oh wait, this is not the right one. I got so many of these email things. Oh uh, wait, let's see which one did he send to? Sent to that one. So where is it? How come someone sends you an email and you and I don't receive it? Wait a minute. What's what's this one saying? T K C M. All right. Let me. No, I'm a bit confused because this guy said he sent me and and it, when he sent the offer, he said it comes via email. I've never seen that before. It sounds more like, you know, a, a dodgy thing, isn't it? How does someone say they sent you an email? That email is not part of eBay. You're supposed to add, you suppose you're supposed to add that option to buy it now or offers, isn't it? That's what you're supposed to do because I'm I've sold stuff on eBay before, and on eBay either you you sh you close the the sale, or you add that option. But I think to add the option you need to end the sale. Jim. I can't find this email that I've got off my own. This thing is so weird. It's like, it's like I don't have an email address like this. No, I'm looking at everything. I'm trying to find the email address. This email is so weird. In the way it's written. Wait, let me, let me use my other phone. Sorry, guys. I am going to jump into the game. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what this guy has been saying. Come on, I don't want this. Why are you doing that? You know? I want to find this thing. Where, where is it? I'm sure I don't have this email. I'm wondering if that email is different. Oh, okay. No, I found it now. How come it doesn't appear on this one? Okay, I actually found it as well on my other phone. I'm just like, wasn't appearing. Wait, um, let me check this out. I'm trying to see something. Right, so I'm looking at my email and this guy makes a claim that he, when he sent the offer it should have gone through my email, you know, or to, to me. So I'm trying to see what he's talking about. It's saying no, res no results found. I'm just wondering if this guy is serious, man. You know, like he's not serious about selling his laptop. No, you know, the thing is, when you've got money and you want to buy something, you understand? I think he, he just wants to, to sell it for the price he's put. Because I don't, I've not seen his question, his, uh, his email. It just, you know, it's, it's very annoying when someone is, is not telling you the full story. So I'm, I'm going to send him another message, you know. He says, hello, sent the offer. Uh, I sent the offer when I sent the message. Not sure, but I guess offer would have been sent to you by email. 
And I'm like, how does that work? Because eBay doesn't function like that. Right, I'm just gonna, let's see. The gamepad's not working. It's not working. What's up with this thing? All right, just use this skip. Uh, let's go into this one again. Because this is controller. Controller selected. So the controller should be working. All right. Da, 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 da. Okay. Right. Quality. It's gone to minimum. All right. So we're saying custom. AMD FSR 2.1. Let's see, what else is in here? Dynamic resolution. Uh, I'm trying to see. Okay, so everything's on very low, low, or off. So the only things I've done in here, guys, is, all right, wait. So I've set this to minimum. Uh, upscaling sharpening is set to AMD FSR 2.1. And then the AMD FSR preset is quality. That's basically all I've done in this. Okay. That's all I've done, the minimum quality and, you know, the rest. I don't get this because this is clear. It's saying controller. I don't know. Maybe it's just acting weird. I'm going to select uh, ground war. Let's see. Do it. Does it still have my operators? That's uh, pre-shading. I don't want to say pre-shading. I don't know what that is. Look at this. It doesn't even load it. <laughs> It can load my people's up. Look, it took a while to load them. This is so weird. No, I'm just wondering why my wait. Why is it that the the gamepad thing's not been recognized? It's not been recognized. This thing. You see, it's not working. Look, I'm pressing the buttons. It's not working. So I think something's up with this thing. I need to. I don't want to mess things up in the background, yeah? So I'm going to swap and find another port, hopefully. You know what I'm thinking? Right, where is this thing going? Okay, so this... I'm going to put this one. I'm using this cord in my, uh, my um, thingy. Because that is not working as it's supposed to on the Steam Deck. Right, let's see. Why does this always happen? What's, what's, what's all this weird stuff? So where's the game? The game has just disappeared on its own. Wow, look at this screen. Who put the screen there? <laughs> no, you see, I don't think this guy is serious about selling his laptop. I think he just thinks I'm taking him for a ride. The thing is, I've got the money right now. So this guy is messing around, you know, messing about. I was, I will just buy the other laptop. We're taking Bravo. Taking Bravo. But I changed the cord because something is saying. But right, let's see. My gamepad's not working. Securing objective what the hell, man? Gamepad's not working. Says so your keyboard and mouse disabled. Why can't I play this? What's wrong now? It's disabled. What the hell, man? So the mouse is working. The mouse is working, but the gamepad's not working. Look at this. This is a mess. This is horrible. <laughs> Steam Deck for you. And this is on the minimum. That's minimum for you. Oh, come on, man. This is horrible. Right, guys. 